Hey guys, welcome to the show. We're in a little bit of different surroundings than you're used to seeing us in. Stay tuned, I have a great episode for you, but also at the end of this episode, we're going to choose the Cabrina Kite Giveaway winner. So stay tuned for that and enjoy the show. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue We scream it only, I'll be saved We toss off the line, but I just let it flow away Yeah, I'll let it flow away I'll let it flow away I'll let it flow away After cruising up through the Caribbean in record time, we finally made it to the USA. We docked the boat in Miami, Florida, indulged in some of our favorite foods that we hadn't had in years, said goodbye to Luke, and Keith and I took off. It's been two years since we've been back up to our place in Montana, and upon arriving, we were shocked to see such a lack of snow in February. Our cabin in the woods is situated miles deep into the remote mountains, and usually the roads aren't passable in winter, and we have to get our snowblower out to make it down the driveway but this time we drove right in. This is the first time we've been back here in two years and we've had a person taking care of it so everything should be good but we've got to fill up the hot tub. I don't even know if we have firewood. We stopped by the grocery store, got some groceries and we used to have a fly problem. Lots of flies. Oh wow, the walkway has no gravel anymore. The grass has grown completely over the walkway. Oh, shyster. What was that? Was that a bunny? Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. Okay, that was cool. And there's just not any snow. It's been a very warm, dry winter. Uh, right now it's uh, it's 50 in, in town, 50 degrees in town, but up here it's usually 10 degrees colder. So it's like 40. Oh, flies. Oh gosh. Flies. We're gonna have to get that taken care of. Oh my lord, flies everywhere. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's intact. Years. It looks great except for all the flies. I know, there's dust and dirt everywhere. I know, but that's not broken. That chandelier, he must have dropped it. Maybe it was swinging. No, the chain broke. I had to fix it. But ah. it's not shattered. No, it's not. I can fix it. It's that's good. good. Yeah. This broke. Yeah. Cool. But like the bulbs aren't shattered or they... Or maybe he took it down. I bet he took it down. I can fix it. That's cool. That's all right. We got to... Light the water heater. This is kind of a storage closet. It's got all of our winter clothes and clothes that the kids grew out of. I love that sound. My bathtub's going to heat up. And the cool thing is we have a Costco about an hour away. We can get anything we need. All right, Keith's going to... Plug in the frizz, look at that. We kind of think we think we shouldn't have left it open because it got bugs and stuff in it. Moths, but might have gotten stinky and mildewy. Oh, we still have our Christmas trees up. The last time we were here was Christmas two years ago. Oh, I love this house. I love it. Our kids know this house more than they knew our house in Dallas. And obviously they had the bow the most. We had this place for 15 years. So they've sort of grown up in it. We'd come here like every summer for a few months and uh, from like Thanksgiving, well, we'd have Thanksgiving in Texas and then we'd come here for Christmas because it's always white and snowy. We'd go snowmobiling and skiing. And uh, so we never really lived here full time, but I love it, I love it, they love it. Oh my goodness, look at the flies in the sink. What is that? What is that? It's like, I don't know, maybe it was some food left or something. Oh my gosh, it's gross. Look at the flies. Wow. All right, we have water. It's ice cold, it's wonderful. We have our own water well, and Keith just turned it on. We keep it off in the winter. Batteries are dead on both my pickup and the Jeep. Oh. King Ranch is good. Okay, that's good. Uh, 
up here. Oh my gosh. All right, we got the house mostly clean and we slept in our bed last night for the first time in two years. It felt so good. I got such a good night's sleep. This morning we are going to attack the hot tub. It has a leak, and so, uh, or no, he, he uh, drained it, and I don't know what the deal is with the hot tub. Anyway, the hot tub's gross, and he drained it, and he's refilling it, but there was like a dead mouse in it or something. I don't know. You want to work on the hot tub? The internet started working. The internet started working. So we have some cow poop. We lease our land. We have 1,500 acres out here. We lease it to some cattle ranchers when we're not here. And looks like some of the fencing is broken. So the cows got into the yard, into the backyard, into the front yard. It's unfortunate. This is pretty icy here. All right, this is the hot tub. Oh boy, I get to attack this today. So you don't drain the hot tub completely? Yeah. Or you do? Oh, the snow melts and gets into it? Is that yeah. how there was water in it? Yeah, so the guys that built it for us, well, the stone the guys, they did all the stone work. Yeah. All the way around the rim of the hot tub, the stone should have sloped away. Yeah. And it should have sloped forward from the back mm -hmm. just just a little bit but everything runs into the hot tub so when there's snow in here and there's snow <laughs> rain it just runs into the hot tub instead of running out and around it mm. it's really frustrating mm -hmm. yeah this looks like a project nothing but good stuff under that are you sucking the water out right now yeah okay where are you gonna do that It should have. It should have. I don't know why they didn't put one in it. Should have had one right in the center. Yeah. Just that, so when we get ready to leave, I pull that drain out. It goes out there. I need a four inch drain in that we're thing. Like right now while we're cleaning, we just spray and drain it, spray and drain it. Like no, if I had a drain, it would just, uh, there'd never be water in here. Yeah. Just be some dead rats laying around here because they got in here and couldn't get out and they just starved death. Yeah. But yeah, there should have been a drain sitting right there. That blows my mind. I don't know what. It's looking a lot better. All right, got it clean. Now we're going to fill it up. We need to get a new cover. That cover is gross and all the foam is broke apart in it. Um, but yeah. I need to break up this ice. Fill up the hot tub and how long will it take to get warm? Four hours, five hours. Okay. Sweet. Yay. All right, we're gonna go drive the property and look around and see what everything looks like. Let's do it. Let's get her done. I love this Jeep. The hot tub done filling up. Yep, it's, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. It's 50 degrees. Awesome. 54 more to go. Tree in the way. Just bring your chainsaw. Can you get this back a little bit? Uh, yeah. There you go. How was that? believe it's so dry here. We shouldn't be able to drive this Jeep down through here. No. We should be on snowmobiles right now. Yeah, there should be a meter of snow sitting here. We're in the U.S. You can use feet. Three feet. 3.28 feet. Is 
There's a tree house built for the kids. We all built it together. That was there's, fun, wasn't it? Yeah, of course they don't put this electric fence out down here around this either. Yeah, I so there's cow poop all the way over there. Well, yeah, and I, you know, it's just... Yeah. It's empty inside. Yeah. There's really nothing in there. But, so there was a fire on this land back in 2000. It came up from the valley down there. A combine uh, or a pickup started the fire, the exhaust on it, down in a wheat field down uh, down below. And it burned all the way up through here, and it burnt this property down. And so it really looked bad back then. But the reality of it is it cleaned all that fuel out of the area, so the fire hazard here is a lot less. We've had the property now for... You said 15 years. 15 years now. And... And uh, when we first bought it, this side of the property looked a little rough mm -hmm. because of the fire. As we bought it 10 years after the fire. But now it's starting to really look good. The trees are coming back and it's, it's really nice. All right, he's kind of slip sliding here. Get the winch out. Now, now what you gonna do? Tree number two. Oh, please don't flip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He's just trying to get right over there is more level. He's just got to turn a little. Without sliding. Oh, gosh. I need you to do that. Okay. Come on, you got this. There you go. He actually loves this kind of stuff. It terrifies me, but he likes it. We got some snow this morning. Keith has chopped a bit of wood and make a fire. You need to clean this out before I... No. Don't want to know what those are. Oh, good birdie. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, bye-bye, guys. Sorry. I'm going to start a little fire. All right, this is this little wood stove heats our entire cabin. 
We do have floor heaters, but we try to keep those off and just use wood. Hmm. Almost warm enough to get in. Water's a little cloudy because of the well, huh? Yeah, I need new filters. Yeah. We found a new lid, which is nice. Oh, I love the snow up here. It's so quiet. So this is my solution, temporary solution for the flies, till we get our logs sealed, which should happen this summer. Look at all the snow. Look how beautiful. We've probably got, look at those chairs. Six, 12 inches? Yeah, there's more in the backyard. Oh, it's just a winter wonderland now. Look at all the snow back here. This is our wonderful little porch that I love so much. Oh, look at all the snow. Winter wonderland. So how does it feel to be up here without your children? Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's nice, but it's, uh, it's tough, you know, for sure. Yeah, it's so quiet. It's very quiet. It's very, uh, I mean, this is the new, new part of our lives. It's, it's the, going to be the new norm for me and Renee is, is not having our children around all the time. And, and, and uh, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a transition for sure. We've been on the boat for the last two years, and I thought I was really ready to come to Montana. We've been here, what, two or three days now. And I can already tell you that I am not ready to go quietly into that dark night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready to come up here and live without my children, without my grandkids. I'm, it's not going to happen. I'm not ready for the adventure to end. I'm not ready for for to sit on my rocking chair here. And, and I mean, this is a beautiful place, and it's going to be a great place to do that. But... Scared to death, scared to death to know that this is where my life ends yeah. and this, the rest of my life is just this and I can't do it. I mean, we've been up since five o'clock this morning, we ate <laughs> breakfast, we went on a mile and a half hike up and down through two foot of snow. We got back here. We got in the hot tub I twice. got in the hot tub twice, blowed the driveway. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? That's all I want to say. Uh, um, yeah, it's, anyway, it's... It, it, and, and, you know, the transition of not having my kids around, it's tough. It's tough. It's, it's really, really tough. It's a mental uh, transition that's going to take some time for sure. Yeah. And uh, me well, and Renee have a good time together, and, and we know it's coming. We know it's happening. It's just uh, we got to figure out what we want to be doing. Mm -hmm. And sitting stagnant is not what we want to be doing. Yeah, you can't just go fishing every day. I could. Isn't that what guys like we, to we do? We may do that. We, we may do that. But but uh, I don't think I'm ready to be up here. I'm, I'm st the, the boat still calls my name. I, you know, as burned out as I was on the boat before we left there, I, I, I could realize right quick when I got here after a couple of days here that, wait a second, I can pull that hook up on that boat anytime. And okay. I can go change my scenery. I can, mm -hmm. We'll go down to South America. We'll go to the Panama. We'll go to Costa Rica. We'll go anywhere we want to go. And yeah, we may not have our kids with us, but we can bring lots of young people out to help us crew. We can bring friends out to help us crew. We've got all kinds of options where it's not just, you know, everybody thinks, well, without Keith's kids there, it's going to be hard. No, it's not going to be that hard. I need those things to do. I need, I need that adventure. I need that mission. I need that constant. Uh, I'm not content just, just sitting. Yeah. I'm not content sitting around. Just, you just need a purpose. Need a purpose or a mission. And, and it's, it's not chasing money either. It's, you know, I don't know what it is. This is a serious transition in our lives. And um, the only thing I know is that me and Renee have been running around naked for the last couple of days here at the cabin. And that has been wonderful. <laughs> it's been very wonderful. Renee's not telling me, I can't throw the next frame. I can't throw the next frame. No, no, no kids. Can't use that one. <laughs> it's cold outside. No, can't use that one because it's hot. 
Anyway. Right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Whitaker. Yeah. And now I'm going to lean back here and do nothing. <laughs> Keith and I love sitting out back by the fire. It's such a stark contrast to our blue water cruising lifestyle. But when we get too cold, we hop back into the hot tub. Where are you going? I don't know. Keep going. Just hit it. Here to look at our greenhouse. The greenhouse that we bought right before we bought the boat. And we've never grown anything inside of it. No. But I got a screw in it. Oh, that's all right. Did you look in there? Yeah. That's nice. I can't wait. Then we got this chicken coop over here. If we're up here full time, we're going to grow our own stuff. We had chickens a long time ago. Two chickens. Whew. I got all the windows out in it so they don't blow out. Mm -hmm. Cool. One day, though, I might, uh, I'd like to make this kind of a prepping place. Because the way the world is right now, I know I'm sounding paranoid, but I'd like to, uh, I can see my enemies coming from a long way off right here. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Oh. So. No. Nope. All right, we're gonna leave here in a few days and head back to the boat with the vehicle. That's the whole reason we came up here was to get a truck to drive down to Miami. So we have a truck uh, to do running around and then we're gonna go to Texas and see family and friends and then uh, back up here to Montana for a short time, probably a month. And then back to the boat to get engines on the boat and then move the boat down to Grenada. So our sailing adventure really is not ending. We're just taking little bitty short breaks. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned because we're gonna pick the winner for the Cabrina Kite giveaway next. Bye. All right, guys, it is time to announce the winner of our Cabrina Kite giveaway. We've been traveling the last few days, so I started putting together an Excel spreadsheet with all the entries from all the platforms, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I chose an app to randomly select a winner. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do it because there was like 1,500 entries, but regardless, that's what I did. So here we go, drum roll, please. Captain Steve Accord from Seattle, you are the winner of the brand new Cabrina Kite and Bar. Congratulations. You don't have an email address on your YouTube account, but you did include your uh, Instagram account. So I will be reaching out to you on Instagram. We'll get you in touch with our guys at Cabrina. They'll get you sorted with all the new gear. No, you don't have to pay for shipping. This is not a scam. We're not trying to swindle a few dollars out of somebody. We did this contest to promote the Cabrina brand because we love them and to share our love of kiting with our viewers. Make sure to keep an eye on Cabrina's YouTube channel. They have all the latest gear and features. And I never can remember if it's gonna be here, here. Anyway, the link will be up there. It'll also be in the description below. I'm not gonna have a video for you next week. I'm gonna take a little bit of time off, but I will be back in two weeks with another action-packed episode of the Miami Boat Show and our med crew reunion. So stick around for that. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you again in two weeks. Bye-bye. back in two years and um oh that's broken uh let's do that again i think we're a pretty good team stay tuned to the very end because we are going to choose the cabrina kite giveaway yes winner deleted scenes could be interesting